Hi ho, and welcome to WDW ProVision 3D. Uh, if you're wondering how you can see this in 3D, just get your nose almost up to the screen and cross your eyes. That's right, no glasses needed. Uh, the only thing I have to suggest to you is if you are a frog, be careful because you may not actually have eyelids and uh, could do serious damage. But uh, uh -huh. other than that, uh, on with the show! All right, how are you, everybody? How are you? Yeah, good to see you. And uh, happy Sunday if you're watching this on a Sunday. But, uh, well, that's sort of the idea, isn't it? Because it's a uh, Sunday spoof video. Mm. Uh, today we're going to be reading out of Glider. That is a uh, website. And uh, oh, look at that! Look at that! They have a green uh, C that starts their logo. Yeah, that's their icon, I guess you could say. Yeah, well, you know, Glider. It's not easy being green, but uh, you pull it off well. All right, well, the, the title is The Muppets Mayhem, Cast, Characters, Plot Details, and Everything We Know So Far. And uh, this one's by Matthew Key. So, go Matthew Key! Good job, yeah. All right, looking at us. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets. Again, in The Muppets Mayhem, uh, the new 10-episode series due to hit Disney+. Plus. Uh, they have been around since Jim Henson. Yeah, I think I remember that guy. First introduced many of them in Sesame Street way back in 1969. You know, I should really go back over there sometime. Uh, I miss some of my friends. You know. The path from children's television to The Muppet Show, which premiered in 1976, was through two half-hour specials, The Muppets' Valentine Special, lovely, airing in 1974, and The Muppets' Sex and Violence from 1975, which uh, coincidentally sounds like uh, just your everyday situation with Miss Piggy. You know. Well, that and, a, uh, that and a large buffet that you will have to go to first. But anyway, it was the 1975 special that introduced audiences to such central personalities as Sam the Eagle, the Swedish chef, Statler and Waldorf, and an early version of, uh, well, Miss Piggy. <laughs> it's also where audiences first met Dr. Keith and the Electric Mayhem. From those humble beginnings, the Muppets have been a mainstay in movie theaters, on television sets, and on the internet ever since. The newest entry into the long lexicon of Muppet properties, the Muppets Mayhem, will see their very own house band, Dr. Teeth and Electric Mayhem, and their first ever solo series as they attempt to record their very first album. Uh, maybe this is going to be uh, looking back in time, but uh, congratulations there, Electric Mayhem. You guys are doing great. Yay! That's really good. Yeah. So happy for you. Uh, though currently there is no release date, the series is expected out sometime in 2023. Uh, that's this year. Yeah. It is slated to be a 10-episode comedy that will premiere exclusively on Disney+. Plus. If uh, that's too far away for you, and you are a you are desperate for some Muppets fare now, uh, they have plenty of other Muppets goodies for your viewing pleasure. They have many of the Muppet movies, including the original Muppet movie and The Caper as well as most episodes of The Muppet Show, and are the home for the short-form series Muppets Now, which we really don't talk about very much for, uh, well, reasons that are obvious. Thus far, there is no trailer for the series. The only footage that's been seen from the show was at New York Comic Con, where a short clip was screened. We also got a single from uh, The Electric Mayhem during the D23 Expo 2022, which you can check out uh, below. Uh, we will not play that, uh, because the tube might not like us for it. Uh, the series is developed by Adam Goldberg, Bill Beretta, and Jeff Yorks. Goldberg is best known for his hit semi-autobiographical ABC series, The Goldbergs. He now has an overall deal with ABC Signature, which is the production entity behind I'm Up, It's Mayhem. Uh, also, Joni Davis said of Goldberg that he is our resident Muppet enthusiast, and getting to play in the sandbox with Bill, a longtime performer, as well as these beloved characters, was a dream come true for him. Bill and Jeff. Davis then went on to add, their take is fresh, fun, musical, and of course, hilarious. We couldn't be happier to be the studio that is helping them get the band back together again. Seems like I sang a song about that in a few, uh, well, maybe two movies ago. Uh, Michael Bostick and Chris Eber will serve as executive producers alongside Goldberg. Can you get the idea? Uh, it goes on to talk about the cast and who's going to be in it. Which, uh, well, I thought it was the electric medium. But uh, maybe there's going to be some more people on there. Can't wait to see them. 
And uh, so, yeah, it's also been suggested that maybe, just maybe, Jason Chong will be making a cameo in the series where uh, Mayhem's saxophone of Zoot will somehow fool the classic comedy duo. Well, that would be great. And, uh, you know, seeing Cheech and Chong on there, if that's torture, then chain me to the wall, right? Thus far, the only Muppets known to be making an appearance are the bed members in the Electric Mayhem. Will there be a cameo in green? I don't know. The foremost member is, of course, Dr. Teeth, the scruffy, green-skinned, red-haired keyboardist with a gold tooth. His look is inspired by the real-life keyboardist, Dr. John, who coincidentally wrote the Popeye's chicken jingle, Love That Chicken. Yeah. Dr. Teeth was originally played by Jim Henson, but is now played by Bill Beretta, one of the producers and creators of the Mayhem series. And uh, it goes on to talk about Animal. Yeah. Animal is, uh, well, uh, hard to have on screen, I'll tell you. It's uh, it's not always easy and uh, not great at remembering lines either, but, you know, great, great percussionist. It's unknown which other Muppets will be making cameos, so knowing which Muppeteers are in it can give audiences an idea of who else they might expect. All right. Well, there you go. That's it. Muppet Mayhem, ladies and gentlemen, coming out in 2023. So keep your eyes and your ears peeled if you have them. And I suppose you do, although I have to say my ears are, uh, well, I'm not really sure where they are. Ooh. But uh, keep them tuned in for the Muppet Mayhem, and uh, we'll see you real soon. the audience, whoever it is, black, white, or whatever, they listen to people who know nothing about what they're talking about, but they look like they do. They put on glasses or they look like they're teachers and they make these statements that are far-fetched. And then the people, the audience, the people that are participating, thank them for teaching them something. It's really frightening. Because and yet here you are, the daughter of the voice of Br'er Bear, the daughter of, well, you're, you're, as we've said before in this video, you're so important because you're one of the uh, only people that we can turn to, to find out these true stories because uh, Hattie McDaniel and James Basket didn't have children. Yeah. Mr. Nick Stewart did. And, and you're the, the child who we have on with us right now that we can talk to and find out what was the real deal. What is, what really happened? Um, he mentions on um, his interview for the Academy, uh, the TV Academy, that he felt that James Basket died of a broken heart. That's what he felt. And he did say that. He also why, why did he feel that he died of a broken heart? You are about to listen to one of the most meaningful interviews and videos that I think that I will ever produce. Join us as we take a journey back into time, back into the golden era of Hollywood, examining the lives and the legacies of the trailblazing pioneers, the African-American or black, if you will, celebrities who did everything in their power to get onto the small screen and the big screen to bring better values into the world and we're going to examine how their legacies are being lost but how at the same time there's no way that the truth will not win out you're in for an absolute joy of an interview with valerie stewart daughter of nick stewart who was the voice actor behind Br'er bear as splash mountain is now closing at walt disney world and gone at disneyland Get ready, because you don't know the person who was the voice of Br'er Bear. And you're about to find out that he is so much more, so much more, than an old cartoon bear, and his legacy will live on.